So obstacles in the presence of winds force the airflow to rise up and creating regions of updrafts. And these updraft regions allow birds to sustain flight without flapping their wings and this of course saves them energy. Such airflows also exist around large buildings and at RMIT we've seen a number of bird species soaring on these regions of updraft. As researchers, we took on the challenge of building an autonomous micro-sized plane that was capable of mimicking the soaring behaviour of the birds we observed. To develop an autonomously soaring plane, the team initially wanted to investigate the airflow field around the campus through high fidelity numerical simulations to understand the soaring environment of birds. These simulations allowed us to predict where regions of updrafts around the buildings are likely to occur for a variety of wind conditions. We've used our knowledge of the flow field to inform sophisticated planning algorithms which seek out the soaring hotspots. We are now exploring autonomous soaring during long distance travel. Preliminary flight testing of our micro-sized soaring plane showed that urban autonomous soaring is feasible. Our system was able to remain airborne for flight times exceeding the capacity of the onboard batteries. The next step in this research is to replicate the physical characteristics of the bird. We can learn a lot from nature and this is part of an ongoing area of research into bio-inspired aerospace systems here at RMIT.